okay uh, now i am logged in as a developer that is my account tapos.aa at the rate of gmail.com now i am going to the sprint i am working as a backend team sprint okay this two job is assigned for me and you can also check now the sprint one is the current sprint and these are the upcoming sprint okay so this task so first you need to subtax your item suppose analysis assigned to me it's need three hour then development it's need suppose five hour then we test this feature it's also need three hour and then we are great and march in the branch okay so this also needs some time suppose this will need two hour and also database configuration so yeah, best scenario is you created tasks and sub tasks within the sprint planning meeting days okay after the sprint planning meeting is completed then you need to uh, tax the, your feature so if i go to uh, work detail so now it's not showing me how much work days are remain so if i go to the here as a administrator account in shown account if i go to the board if i sprint forget the area if i if you go to the uh, administrator account and go to any backend team sprint then click the capacity suppose uh, this user is a development uh, capacity per day uh, best scenario is six hour per day for a senior developer or any new developer join your team that time three hour is for your wa working capacity per day because the new developer doesn't know uh, is all the features and uh, work or uh, workflow properly so that time he has need an, uh, more time to complete some tasks so that's the reason any junior any newcomer developer for uh, three hour per day's best scenario and uh, or the and the senior developer or uh, working for a long time developer that's the best in a six hour per day is the best scenario okay now i said the capacity if i go to the again uh, sprint board and refresh the page as a developer got it not i think it's not updated oh i forget to save the data okay so now it's showing uh see uh in this sprint uh so number of working days uh, i have 60 hours to complete all my tasks okay uh suppose and here analysis uh, here also i estimated my job it's three hour you see the development work item is also increase or decrease development suppose i added any uh, uh suppose this also suppose uh five hour test three or two hour and pr and march so here suppose i added more to our so if you saw this is not completed that means uh, the 
job estimation is not done properly so that the reason you haven't getting enough work to complete so that cause you you estimate time but more and more time is left so that time you can also uh, get some uh, other work from the product backlog item suppose i am going to the product backlog and you see some database contention course api so i think i can also do this in this sprint so i assign it for myself and save and complete and if i it's not coming the main reason is this is going to the sprint 2 if i move it to sprint 1 again so now this comes this area write out new azure board i think microsoft some updated this board okay yeah this is the new updated board design so i also uh, this also approved and analysis again analysis me it's need suppose five hour and more subtasks development you can uh, also uh, add it more granular subtasks also but most of the time we when we work together that this criteria we use suppose 10 hour test it in some test environment first we develop the work in local environment then we need to test in the azure portal some test environment so so that ensure us that uh, the our functionality not in uh, is compatible with azure or not okay so three hour suppose if i add it uh, some tasks is more than my estimation task i want to show you what happens suppose i added the 100 hour then you see i am i am now in over uh, over work item added in my sprint so if you after the sprint planning meeting you uh, you are uh, in your team lead or the or the uh, scrum master assign you some more job if you after estimation if you saw that uh, you are uh, yeah, you are getting more and more job that is not uh, uh, possible to complete in your work uh, give a, uh, estimation work item then you need to move this uh, in the next sprint so how can you move into the next sprint click this icon move to iterate iteration and move to iteration and sorry move to iteration and the sprint two so now you refresh this so if this not gone there so if you click in the backlog again and course api development uh, and you see this is a moving the sprint to some caching related work this also not showing uh, product backend team backlog sprint course api if i filter refresh it not <laughs> it's showing it's not going there but in the backlog item it's easily show course api development goes to the sprint planning tool if i go to the sprint two again now one tax four sub tax so best scenario is you, you come to the backlog then move it from the one sprint to another if i now move to the sprint now you see the course is not present there so this is the portion how can we manage our capacity in team how to how the developer subtracts their item and one important thing when you start your work so it's time when you are starting your work so change the status approved to committed okay so for that is helpful for uh, product owner or any other other team member from uh, from the board they can at a glance understand how many is committed what type of project is now committed for committed area what is in the approved area so they can easily understand uh, the big picture 
of your organization and one another important note when you working in in a scrum don't do several tasks at a time simultaneously is a very bad practice so if you working suppose you are starting analysis then uh, you think you also send the committed you also start working the, this analysis don't do that best best scenario is work as a similar uh, similar story and after the completed it then move to another but sometimes this situation happened if suppose some input if you found some production issue uh, is found there that time you also need to this type of jobs uh, multi do the multitask in simultaneously okay so otherwise if you this type of glitch uh, not happen that time you uh, focus on a single job because if you are focusing multi job then you need to switch context several times that is very bad, bad practice and it uh, reduce the uh, reduce the development performance okay so at a time single tax is very best for your development okay so this is the uh, sprint and these three are the reporting part i think it's not very uh, ar urgent for us we next video from we are moving to the repo and the after, after uh, some other portion uh, uh, some other tasks we completed then we show you how can we uh, we get several report because now the we have only started one simple job those graph has not enough uh, graph hasn't enough data so if i click the brandon chart you see the uh, graph has not enough uh, data so it's not very helpful for us to understand it properly so after we completed some tasks then it's very helpful for everyone to understand it properly okay for now bye bye next portion we are starting the repository that is the main developer portion is starting from that area and this is print basically maintained by the scrum master or product owner developer only create the task sub tasks and understand what uh, they are working and how much time is left you can also filtering several area okay so uh, what detail you are getting the information how much work you left okay and sprint planning and everyday scrum that is uh, we uh, we all together join in a team all the team member is joined there suppose the backend team four member and one qa is present so five member we join together and and we discuss three question uh, what we did yesterday and what we will uh, what we is do, doing today and what type of uh, problem we face and everyone is uh, discussing their particular area so team uh, all the team members seeing everyone the uh, who, who which people is working the which portion that is very helpful for understanding if we uh, found any issue and and that and we know the which developer is working that particular area and we can knock them easily so i think you can enjoy this course and hopefully the next portion you will enjoy more and more bye